Welcome. It's been a little bit since I've uh, gone live here. Five days or so. Um, I haven't taken a break like that in a little bit. I just, I've had other stuff going on. I, I took some time to record some stuff for YouTube offline because I just, I didn't really have the broadcasting energy in me. But I, I wanted to like play some games and record, so I did a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, this crazy ass song uh, that is playing in the background. Let's let's fade that out now, and we'll just have Elden Ring passive noises. Um, this is actually called "Rolling Down the Street in My Katamari," um, by an artist called Fear of Dark. I wish I was kidding, but I literally typed um, "video game music" into Spotify, and that is how I found that. Um, some curated playlist. It sounds a lot like the other music I listen to, but just like chiptune, so it's kind of sick. Um, let's... Yeah, <laughs> there goes the face cam, finally loading in. Uh, we're, we're playing Elden Ring. This is where we left off. Um, I think we were just, like, gathering upgrade materials. Um, just while I was getting the stream set up ready and stuff, I noticed a couple goofy things. Um, for some reason, when you use the pizza cutter, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a square in the middle while it's active. What's all that about from software? Yeah, you can kind of see it from that angle too. Oh, who died to Vike? That's pretty funny. Yeah, there's like a, a weird, like harsh square outline. So that's strange. Um, but there's lots of stuff we can do in this game. I've just I've been wanting to play. I just I don't know why I haven't. <laughs> Let's see. Um, might start off with the ant cave, actually. Um, let's... I feel like this is a good place to go to get there. There's some stuff we can do um, in this cave before we progress Ronnie's questline. So I want to do some of that. Oh, I love the grass loading in there. Um, and then we will progress Ronnie's questline and do some more stuff down there. There's a really cool mini boss down there that has cool like ice lightning moves and stuff any of you carrying a box no i don't think we see that until like later on definitely in the mountaintops i don't, I don't know if other places um, i might be running towards a cliff i think i am no, that's fine not the best at navigating in this game, but I, I like to think that I make up for it in boss fights, but that's also probably not true, so, you know. Um, yeah, I did actually get Flame Cleanse Me, I think, at the end of the last stream as we were chugging through this area, um, so that, I need to check and see how much, um, oh god. Press the roll button. I was just very late. Hello, camera. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> I need to like get back in the groove of playing this game. There we go. When in doubt, jump heavy with a big thing, and don't get the. Repost that would be that would just make it too easy. Yes, yeah, so let me see. Flame cleanse me. That's gonna be here. I need twelve faith. My current faith is eight. I need four levels in faith. That's kind of lame. Get rid of the beacon and down we go. The reason that I'm thinking about that now is because uh, there are some areas that I want to go to the stream that have uh, lots of lots of status effects that we want to cure. That light looks terrible for some reason. It's like all pixely and gross. Uh, this game genuinely looked a lot better and performed a lot better on the PlayStation than on PC, so I very well may um, swap over for the DLC. But the whole point was to have a playthrough that I I could continue for the DLC, but 
I'm sure this is fine. Yeah, so the... <laughs> These ants are kind of bastards. If you get swarmed. It's very bad. And I seem to remember their, like, spit move being very good. That one. Don't get hit by that. I do... Hit them pretty hard, though, so that's nice. Don't headbutt me. That's very rude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I, I came here way too early. Uh, the first time, I think. I was just getting owned. What even? Grace mimics? I think they tell you where to go. Or something to that effect. I don't know. Let's get the lantern on. I have not been using the physic, like, at all. This entire time. Um, another reason to come this way first is that we get the map for the area before um, we come through the next time. Oh, where, where did all of you come from? Uh oh. Did that one sneak past me, or did it spawn behind me? Because I didn't think there were any more ants back there. Now I'm very confused. What? This was a dead end, right? Where did that ant come from? I... Uh, I will never know. What is going on in this game? They're like the dogs that teleport behind you in Dark Souls 3. Oh, hello! <laughs> were you on the ceiling and I just didn't see? Probably. Oh, that would make sense. Maybe it was just on the ceiling somewhere. They do a really good job with the just horrifying imagery in these games, I'll tell you what. It's just a pile of... viscera. Moving on. <laughs> Crunchy. I feel like I missed something the other way. There's like a, a really cool view that we get. Um, so let's... Is it over here? Is this basilisks? Oh no. This is the big ant, right, okay. I must have like throwing knives or something. Let's see. Yeah, throwing dagger. If I could navigate the menus, um, I'd be such a shitty speedrunner. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nope. What? Are the ants too strong for it? No. Wait, I wonder if I just... Can I hit the big one? I can. Oh, hello. This is a lot of you. Okay. Oh, that was a throwing dagger and not a flask. Oh, okay. It's kind of a narrow corridor to fight these. And... Meaning it stinked. No, no, we're fine, actually. <laughs> All right, ants. I imagine if I was afraid of ants, this would be a truly horrifying part of this game. If they were bees, I, I literally wouldn't be able to do this. I love that you can see, like, the weird ant body, like, clipping through. Pops like a balloon. Uh, Rune Arc 10. Or, no, I. The Golden Rune 10 in Rune Arc. I'm such a dumbass sometimes. My brain's just picking out bits of information and mashing it together. Oh, see, I thought that. Okay, well, this is also fine.
Let's see, what's this? Another Arteria Leaf? No. It's an actual item, even if it's not the most useful one. Oh, yeah, of course, you can't get on Torrent down here. I, I always think you can because you can in uh, the other well in Siofra. You can't here, which is kind of lame. That's a golden rune one. Seriously? Dude, these stone guys are just so hard to kill, it's like almost not even worth it. I think there is a grace right at the top of this. <gasps> Will I not be able to activate it? Oh no, you can, okay. Sometimes if you haven't, uh... Most of the time, actually, in these games, if you haven't done the elevator from the other side, you approach it from the side that it's not at, you... It's just like, too bad. <laughs> go, go to the other side first, dumbass. Not the best feeling. I should try to use the block more. I'm gonna try to do that in today's stream. We'll see. We shall see. I think there is just a grace right here. Yeah. Um, not like really necessary, but it's nice to have. And then I think that's just where we would have come from the other side. Some items down there. I don't think it's worth it to go and get that. Let's just go back where we came from. And I think we're, we're going to get the map and a few other things. We might even be able to fight the cool mini boss. Um, in fact, I think we can. Oh, hello. You're just right there, huh? Oh, you got me. <laughs> These guys are so slow. I like... I feel good for them when they hit me, you know? It's like, wow, you did it! It's a little rude. I, th I feel like you can go around the side of this building somewhere. Is it over here? Yeah, that's a path. Let's go in first, though. Is this just map? I don't think so. No. Oh, if you go around the side, you just end up over there and you can get more items. Over here, I think there's another grace. Somewhere? Oh, I can see the glow. And then I'm going to actually try to do this the smart way. Every other time I came through here, I was like, you know what? I should kill the big thing first. And then... Um... And then go and get all the items. Instead of, like, getting hit by the... The rocks over and over. I think you do have to get up there to, um... Which you might have to come from the other side to do, actually. But this is the map, right? Yeah. Oh, and you have my clothes. Sure. Why not? Whenever it's the bullish thing, it's probably worth getting. I don't see a reason not to get all of that, actually. Um. So now we can see a little bit of what's going on. Yeah, everything past this, you can't access yet. So this is all stuff that we'll get access to from Ronnie's quest line. Or there's like another way to do it, but I don't remember what it is, to be honest. So <clears throat> yeah, we can go see the Lake of Rot and then go and fight the mini boss now. So let's do that, I guess. Um, Off by this grace. And then we can come back and like loot all the items in this area and stuff. Uh, later this stream. Because I'm not trying to get hit by all those rocks over and over. I mean, I guess I could just do it, but who cares? Alright, ants. A lot of these enemy encounters, if you're just kind of proactive... And get a few of them early. I'm also, like, way over-leveled, so, like, take everything I say with a grain of salt. This would could be much harder if you come here earlier. Um, I have a plus nine weapon. And a lot of health. 
But yeah, just kind of be proactive. Hit the enemies. It helps. I'm going to help you with, like, the Banished Knights in, uh, Charmzilla. But it'll help you with the ants. I think, wait, actually, which way? Yeah. Off this room. Yes. I'm so bad at, at just, like, navigating. I have to open the map, like, a bunch of times. This is where the basilisks are, isn't it? Yeah, you fuckers. That is kind of satisfying, actually. I actually did get cursed by these guys the last time I played Dark Souls Run. So... Actually, on my first playthrough, I definitely got cursed at least once as well. And that is like a catastrophe. It halves your health. Which, like... Dear God, Miyazaki, why? It's, like, so punishing. If you get cursed, not only does it instantly kill you, but it halves your health. It's just boom. Get fucked. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a lovely place? Well, we're, we're gonna go here later. Uh, later today. But for now, I remember the first time I came here, I was like, wow. This is really cool looking. And then I got to that area and I was like, oh. That was the thing I saw before. This is a lot less cool now. <laughs> now that I have to trudge through it. Yeah, so yeah, we want to have at, f at least four more faith. I think I... Did I pick up the faith, not crystal tier? Where where would it be? In key items? Yeah. It's the one that I have, so I can use the physic flask when we go there. For flame cleanse me, I think. And that should be enough. Faith... Um, it's just better than, like, boluses. I don't know. You, you could also just drink a bunch of red flasks until you, um, until you get through it, but, like, you might die. <laughs> so, you might get very close and die, actually, which happened to me on my first playthrough. I find the spell just works better. But yeah, after seeing how the water looks in other games, <clears throat> it really does look pretty decent in this. Water in TF2 is just heinous looking. It, must, it might be my settings or something, but the particles in this arena look so cool. They just, they do such a great job. It's another dragonkin. Hello. Do a lot of damage. God damn. I remembered you being low health, but so this is the Dragonkin Soldier of Noxtella. Really cool moves in phase two. I mean, even though I do a lot of damage, I still could conceivably die to this, especially if I keep rolling like that. That's going to be phase two, though. Yeah, let's not just... Oh. Look at that. That's... I always felt a little sad that this enemy was this weak. Because I always forget to do it early enough. This is cool as hell. Like, that probably should have just killed me. Oh, I missed. I that I missed again. One more. There we go. And we get a spell that I, my character is far too dumb to ever wield. But, uh, that's fine. So I don't remember what this is. Mm. 
That's for upgrading the spirit ashes. That's actually decent. <clears throat> I think this is all we can do here for now. I love that they show you that there's a grace down there. Um, that's super cool. Yeah, but th this is the only part of this area that we can access for now. And then later we'll come in over here and do the rest of it. Um, let's see. Oh, I, sh I guess I should touch the grace, huh? Did I do that yet? No. And then uh, I guess we could put a knock run. I I could do a hero's grave. That actually sounds like a good time. I guess I do want to eventually just have enough faith. Oh, I don't have enough for one level even. I, I guess I am level 79. I shouldn't be surprised. <clears throat> I did a lot of boss fights. Um, I want to do this. This is going to be very easy. I guess let's just go do that. I remember there being a grace here. Did I just never get it? That's pretty funny, if so. There's so many graces around, it's like very easy to forget some. I remember seeing people... Um... Oh, I should do this too, actually. Seeing people activate graces that I didn't know existed in areas that I had like frequented in this game, and I was like, huh? What? Hmm. Maybe going slightly the wrong way. That's fine. Yeah, so if you kill <clears throat> Riker, the big snake man, uh, before uh, you... What do you call it? Before you do all these volcano man manor invitation things, um, then you simply just don't get to do them. And there's cool armor and stuff that you get uh, for it, so why not, right? Estevan. Is there like a summon sign? I can never remember. Yeah, I ran right past it. Here we go. <laughs> We're actually invading. We're being a dickhead. <laughs> invading this guy's world, but it's, it's just an NPC, so it's not like... It's not real. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna one-shot this guy. Because he's... Oh, maybe not. There's an invader you get here... earlier. It's much weaker. I forget this guy's... You have to go to Volcano Manor to even fight him. Huh. You have gravity magic on that sword, huh? That's weird. Yeah, you don't get two sips, though. <laughs> I, I thought he was going to be much weaker, but that was ultimately not bad. You only get 1,000 souls for it. Maybe that's why I thought he was weak, because you don't—you just don't get paid very much to do it. <laughs> uh, I think we have to go back and forth to Volcano Manor for each of these, which is a little cumbersome. But I mean, like, I can do it. <clears throat> yeah, you get cool armor for all of it, so, like, there's no reason not to. I do need water. Um, I, I will be back briefly. I should adjust my camera as well. Um, just one moment. Let's see. We could do this. Uh, oh, I gotta click into the game if I want the controller to work. Could do this, Evergel. Uh, kind of why not, actually. Um, this Crucible Knight beat me up pretty hard my first playthrough, uh, as I'm sure is the case for a lot of people, actually. He's an asshole. Um, so we're gonna go give him the what for with <laughs> a plus nine weapon. 
but yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to do. Um, I guess we can go do the other Volcano Manor stuff. We can go to the uh, Nokron as well. I think these guys explode. They do. It's always pretty funny to me hearing the just death noise, not really knowing. It's like, oh, right. It's one of those guys exploded like a mile behind me again. There we go. It's just golden rune ones. I guess I am in Limgrave. I shouldn't be too surprised. All right, this is where the giant jumps down from. I don't know. Can I access the other side of this from here? I don't think I can. I have to go around. I always forget that you can come and, like, find that giant <clears throat> before he jumps down, and you can fight him on top of there if you're, um, if you feel like it. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's go find this Crucible Knight. I'm gonna get, like, no runes for this either. But these are sort of the, like, Black Knights of this game. In Dark Souls 1, there are just, like, super tough enemies littered around. Um that drop very powerful weaponry as well. I, I don't know if the Crucible Knight stuff is any good in this game. It would be fun to do just, like, a cosplay with, like, you and a friend where you're, you're the two Crucible Knights. And it's like, Crucible Knight duo has invaded you, and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, where do you, you come from here? Yes. Let's see how much damage I do. Uh, not bad at all. I'm gonna be brave. Oh, my God. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, fuck you, Crucible Knight. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, you, you might say I'm a slightly overleveled for that encounter. It's the funny thing about Elden Ring. If anything's too hard for you, just literally just fuck off and come back. Especially early game. If you've only been playing for a couple hours and something owns you, just remember it exists, and do anything else. Uh, let's see, what else to do? Is this? Um, I, there's like a bunch of caves and stuff in Kaelid. I haven't done basically any of the just basic caves around the whole world. I could do this hero's grave, which I did mark to do later. Um, there's another hero's grave over here. <laughs> And there's one right by spawn. Those are particularly mean dungeons, I will say. Um, let's let's go back to Volcano Manor. And we can um, get our next uh, mission to go and invade somebody, um, and, and we'll we'll go from there. I do want to play another stream of Super Mario Galaxy. By the way, it's on my list. Uh, we did one stream like late at night, like a couple weeks ago, last week maybe. I want to do more of that. Letter, no. That is the task. The Bobby will be compensated if you are low, but you must leave. This. this is a war. We have no place for them. Sure. Thank you have completed. I am pleased. This is your reward. Never forget. The way is taken. It is the truth. Hey, do you give me like another thing now already? You are I am pleased. Now you I am pleased. Okay. The the role of NPCs in these games is just talk to them until they say the same thing over and over. That one is blocked shut, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I wonder... Th th I think there is a way to access that room later on. So, you then I shall introduce... Banal. Recusants have... Put Why not add... I feel like you sell Ashes of War, right? You do. I don't know if any of these are super good. Well... Have you any strange... Something beyond the walls? Oh, fine. It just is impossible. Yeah, there are definitely snakes around. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh, I guess we got a new letter. Where's the thing? New Volcano Manor request is there. I think we can pretty easily get to it from here. That is a pretty sick photo of Blythe. Um. 
let's go this way. It was so funny when the game came out. So many people were like on camera mispronouncing the character's name. They literally say it in the game. And I get that it's spelled like Blade. And he has a big sword, so he's Blade. But they literally say it. I guess if you're like streaming the game and talking over it, you could conceivably like skip it. I, I That would make sense, but still. I don't know. As some, I, I should never hound people for pronunciation because I'm sure I screw things up constantly, but, you know, whatever. This is a weird little moment. These these enemies being here. I, I seem to remember the, the one uh, like troll was really weak and it had like the wrong model or something. Like th there was something weird with that troll. It got changed at some point uh, post release. Um, they patched something. Like, I, he used to have, like, a cloak on, and he definitely doesn't anymore. Weirdness in the game. That Stormvale does look so cool. They really nailed the aesthetic. You're not gonna shoot me. He's idle. And you're gonna sip... How did I know? You gonna sip again? Nice move, bud. You can't sip again. They always... I don't understand why they program the NPCs this way. They only get one... Uh... Drink. And they always try to go for two. And you can just smack them. Tip, if you're having trouble with an NPC, just like... Try to get... Those flasks out, and then... You can kind of kite them around until they sip, and then just whack them. I got the creepest vial. Okay, and we kind of just go back to Volcano Manor. There's a lot of um, loading screens that happen in this. I think the next one might be in Landell. In which case, I'll have to do some exploring of Landell that I didn't do. I see here is your youth. Actually, I think we. Of the true, the Erd tree, but it was all too meager. In the, the tarnished were forth like the shower. I don't care. I, I was gonna say, I don't think I ever if you found yours, patches. It come. Um, if you follow, it cannot come. Sure. Eventually, she just lets you go to Rikard, right? I think so. The red letter. Is this in Landell? The Grand Lift of Rold. No, it's it's all the way up there. Okay. Well, I my memory is trash. Uh, we could go there, conceivably. But I think not yet. I might even do that today. But I, f I feel like I should just do Nokron next. So let's do that. Why not? Such an incredible design. Uh, they, they just nailed the aesthetics of so many things in this game. Like, it looks so damn cool. And it really is just like a smaller version of, um, like, the stuff suspended in Faramazula. Just unbelievable. Yeah, so this is where that giant uh, meteor... That crashes after you fight Radon lands. And there there just like was a whole bunch of stuff here before. And now it's all gone. Uh which is certainly cool. Um one time I, I like A beat it. I, I like loaded up a save that hadn't yet fought Radon. Let's see what this says. Oh, it's just Blythe, huh? Ooh, he looks really weird when I move the camera. Um Yeah, I don't remember the way to go. I want to get on that big rock in the middle. Oh, it's over that way. Okay. I, I was like, I remember it being pretty easy to figure out where to go before. Oh, 
I, I was just so amazed by all of this when I first found out this was a thing. It, it's really kind of like an experience unlike any other game I've ever played my first playthrough of Elden Ring. I hope the DLC is good. I mean, I think it must be. Um, I think we'll find out soon. I mean, I'm hoping. The, like, seemingly every week there's new, like, crap. People are posting about it online. And Steam DB getting updated and various things. But, I mean, we're nearing the just straight-up two-year anniversary of the game coming out. Like, surely the DLC's gotta come out by then. I, I would be pretty surprised if the two-year anniversary of the release date passed. Oof. The lighting gets really weird when you come down here. Like, all of a sudden, you pass a certain threshold and the lighting kind of goes away. I notice that happens in a couple places in this game. It could just be my computer as well. But, like, ambient music and stuff is so effective here. Ugh. If you miss that jump, you have to do kind of like a lot of that again. So I did not want to. Oh, this, this jump is actually a, a little bit further than it looks, too. This is another thing I just didn't know was here until like my third playthrough of the game. I saw somebody come and get it and I was like, what? That's a thing? Are there items down there? I don't think so. I think the, the best place to go is here and drop on these guys. I think I got one of them. I'm killing puddles of sludge. Oh, that guy's got Moog's spear, huh? There's a whole bit in Jerma's chat, like he found Mog's Mog Mog Mog's shackle, however you say it. And then his chat was just like going off about who who is who is Mog, and I think he called it Mog. I don't know. This area is just so pretty. Yeah, you could conceivably just keep running here, and if you do, you just die. You'd go in the window. The paths don't always make sense in these games, but... <laughs> I, 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 but what? I don't know. No clue. Ugh. They do love their bottomless pits, though. It's like a, a favorite of From Software. What? I literally just went over his head. Oh god, these guys are strong. Okay, it would be embarrassing to die right before the grace. There we go. I kind of forgot there was a grace here. I, I remember the next one. Oh, yeah, and there's a pretty goofy boss we're going to face soon. Um, I like the addition of the uh, the bell bearings for stuff. It's, it's definitely a nice thing where you can <laughs> buy more upgrade materials. Can I backstab you guys? There being like gold seed or something weird like tucked away over here that I also didn't know about for a very long time. Maybe not a gold seed. What are you doing standing in the corner? Just more glove wart, huh? But here's that weird little wall. There is an item back here. It's smithing stone threes. Truly a sad day. Okay. Oh god. No, 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 no. 
Thank, thank you, but I, I don't think I will be going off the cliff today. I'm glad you guys had something to say, though. Okay. Really, I don't think it's worth, like, collecting all this stuff in all these buildings, but I will do it anyway. I think you can backstab those enemies, because that guy just did. There might just be another larval tier over here? I don't remember. Oh, it's the ashes! Yeah, these guys are funny. I think they're actually decent, too. Because they just all have shields, so they, like, kind of live for a while. And draw aggro, which is pretty much all you need. Look at them go. My god. Okay, off we go. Messages everywhere. Yeah, and I didn't even realize that this was all like the same zone until I, I got here. I was so impressed. Mm. <clears throat> My voice. Another level tier. I think I actually have like a lot of those. I, I don't think I'm gonna want to respec at any point, so. Nice to have, but not a necessity. I'm gonna be able to level some spirit up pretty well at some point. Maybe we'll get Black Knife Tish and just trivialize some of the final bosses. Um. Oh god, I'm not ready for how hard some of the shit in the DLC is going to be. It's going to be nasty. Because Melania was in the base game, like, that's crazy. So if you want to actually have an easy time fighting the Mimic, right? What you do is, um... Take off all your gear. Before you get here. Now I have to fight against my own build. It's not ideal. Oh, I put on throwing knives, too. Good. Hmm. You get one heal again. step attack. I should use that more. So if I, I press the dodge button from a standstill, I do a back step, and then if you attack after it, you get a special attack animation. It's funny when the NPCs roll as much as I do. Yeah, so that was the back step. You don't get another heal, friend. Come on, hit me. Oh god, don't don't kill me. Come on. There we go. Mimic tier. Done. Beautiful. That should be enough to level up at least once, right? Yeah, I think so. The Grace right here. This Grace has like a weird hitbox, I seem to remember. They might have fixed it, I don't know. I guess we'll do some faith for now. It feels a little silly putting it there, but uh, I see no reason not to. And I think we get access to Torrent again, like right about here, yeah. It's like a late area for a somber five. But who am I to question the balance? I mean, the balance in these games is pretty, pretty goofy, especially this one. The, the enemy damage balance is a little all over the place. Um, I don't know why I feel the need to collect the butterfly, but I do. This is such a cool view. I have to take a second. You can see Mogwin Palace from here. So you, you kind of get like three looks into this game. Wow, that repeating texture looks very bad from up here, though. 
Um, it's funny how beautiful it can look, and then you look down and you're like, ugh, gross. Um, but yeah, that's where we fought the um, deer the first time. Oh, God. Um, and I say the first time uh, because, spoiler, <laughs> for this area, um, I'm going to be fighting the same boss again. I genuinely don't know if it's changed at all. It might not be. It feels like the exact same boss. They're just looking at me. It must have been the wind. <laughs> what? I don't know why Torrent's bell just, like, doesn't work sometimes. Or whistle, not bell. Why do you say bell? It's not a bell. Don't mind me. I'm just going to kill your god. It's not really a very big of a deal. There's a grace here I want to touch. Oh, I won't let me. I'm in combat. You're all the way over there. Can I just touch the grace? Please? Guys, is it you? Yeah, it was because there was a... <laughs> There's like a random animal here. I didn't want to kill the animal, don't... Give me a hard time. Pete is after my ass. I had to, for the grace. If there's a single organization you just don't want to ever know you exist, it's PETA. It's just no good ever comes of that, I feel like. Never fought this dog on horseback. I feel like it could be pretty easy. Ooh, I got like pushed. Well, maybe not easy. I don't know. We'll see. I got knocked off. Not good. Oh, no. I'm really lucky you have some iframes there. Okay. Large red dog defeated. I didn't even really have to fight that. It just kind of made traversing the area a little easier. It might even respawn. I genuinely don't know. I don't think there's anything over here. And yeah, this is just death. They really love their, like, pillars holding up the world aesthetic in these games. It's in, like, I think all of them. It might not be in Dark Souls 2. But... It's definitely in Bloodborne, Dark Souls 1, Elden Ring. I don't know if there's anything like that in Sekiro. There might be, even. I think over in that building over there, there's like a key item that you can get that allows you to do a spell that these guys do. It's like kind of a weird thing. All right, rats. Why are there rats here? <laughs> I mean, I guess let's let's go do it. Let's go get the thing. Oh, God, scary. If you fall in the water at any point here, you're just cooked. Um, so this is a sort of nerve-wracking bit of platforming that you have to do. Huh. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. But yeah, this is just the way to go. Oh no. I thought I could make it. Wow, that is just a gravel texture, too. My god. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do the Snake America, sure. Um, oh my god, the Snake of America was actually so far away. What? That's a little weird. I had, I want to say, like, 5,000 runes on me. That was a pretty dumb way to die. I bet you can make that jump, too. I'm just stupid. And didn't. <laughs> uh, 
Where's the last thing that I need to activate? I just heard my Roomba make a little chirp noise from the other room. We've had that thing for like almost a decade now. It's been through a lot. I brought it with me to college. It has like all these scratches on it from getting stuck under a recliner. That poor vacuum. <laughs> it's done a lot of cleaning in its day. I appreciate it for that, but it it is truly time for that machine. Okay, and I see my runes. Let's not screw this up a second time. So, and somewhere in somebody's world, there's a blood stain of me. Oh my god. Okay, well, I lost 5,000 runes there. That's basically nothing, so I'm not even gonna... You, you get a little skull over there. I did the Stake America again. It's pretty pointless. Literally no reason to go back over there. Um, I think there's some item to get if you go over here and like follow this thing around too. But it's not... Also not really necessary or relevant at all. Let's... Um, maybe there's one more fire to light. Ah, uh, there is one more fire to light. Where is it? I got that one. I feel like there's another one over here somewhere. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Just running into walls. Uh. See, this always happens where there's like one thing left to do and I'm just like, I, d I don't know where it is. Um. <sighs> ah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's go fight the big deer again. Why not? I think it is like it has one move that the other one didn't have, but that's literally it. <laughs> so, um, and then I can go and fight a really horrible um, double boss fight if I want to, um, which would be pretty funny. Um, let's see, what else is down here? We, we can go and get the thing for Ronnie's quest line. Oh, that, that person's got a cool loadout. Rock and Lusat's staff and the Dark Moon Greatsword. Okay. That is weird. It's weird, I tell you. Strange boss. I think it like gets health back from all the little critters in the environment here, too. If I remember correctly. At some point. to try to hit the boss during that move. And two, three. There we go. Oh, I don't think my jump went off. <laughs> Whatever you were going to do, you don't get to do it. Thank you. All right, Regal Ancestor Spirit. That was um, a little underwhelming. But <laughs> there's a Remembrance boss down. Um... 24k for that, huh? Maybe I should go and get my souls. Oh my god, it kills all the little spirit critters when you do that? That's brutal. I don't feel so good about that anymore. <laughs> oh no. Um, I feel like I keep adjusting the camera and it just does whatever it wants. Uh, maybe that's a little better. Um, yeah, let's get fine. I'll go get the runes. It'll get me a, a bit closer to a level and then we can go down into the actual city of Necron over there on the left. Uh, I don't think the big red doggy does respawn, because I would see it if it did. I'm 
It's weird. Oh no, right. There are no souls here. This is this is literally an empty stack because I, I died instead of picking them up. Well, I'm here now, so I guess I have to actually do this. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Alright, Torrent, we got this. That was the hard part. There we go. Can I backstab you? Well, I guess not. Okay. Let's see. Ancestral infant's head. That's a weird thing to be looting from a chest. I Sometimes I, I am, like, broken out of the mindset of this is a video game and, and I'm like struck by the absurdity of the actual thing that I am doing. Um, I think at this point it would literally be faster to just teleport over there, so <laughs> let's do that. Let's see. Oh hey Rocket Cat, how's it going? Is this just an item, or is this the way to go? I can never remember. I think this is just the way to go. Arteria leaf? No, it's a rune arc. Right. My mistake. How, how could I have been so wrong? Just been lurking? I don't know, um... What is the exclamation point lurk command? Because I never set anything up with Nightbot to do that, so um, if that, that is a command that you want, you'll have to let me know what it does uh, so I can configure it. Unless you're just making a joke, in which case, sorry for taking it too seriously. Um, let's see. Thanks for lurking. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can, um... I could set up a goofy little thing like that pretty easily. Yeah, but there are other Nightbot commands. I think all the socials and stuff. Um, some basic stuff. I think you can do exclamation point commands and it tells you what what is there. <laughs> I do think you have to spell it right, though. Is it not working all of a sudden? Oh, that no, okay, it just took a second to load. Okay. Uh, this is just mimic tier, isn't it? I think this is the window that. Yeah. There, there was a funny moment in an albino video where he was like, Hey guys, come jump out this window, and then they followed him, and then it's just... It's just death. Oh, hey, Pot Noodles, how's it going? Tear ashes, hell yeah. We can have two pizza cutters now. It's always felt really nerve-wracking, but it's not that bad. It's going all right. Nice to hear. Just playing some Elden Ring, having a good time. I feel like, um, yes, yeah, so we beat Morgoth uh, at the end of last stream, so I, I felt like I was progressing too much through the main game, so I wanted to do some sort of optional stuff, um, and I'm having fun. Nice, that's a weird item. Speaking of weird, this enemy is strange too. It's just a big ball. Oh god. I forgot you were there. There's a few of these enemies. They actually hit pretty hard if you let yourself get hit by them. Too. My god, that's good. When you can get that to work. I'm doing the Ronnie questline stuff, yeah. 
just to do it, I guess. Is that going to explode? It just did nothing. Okay. I have no idea what that mist was. Um. Yeah, we went to Ainsel River and, um, at the Lake of Rot. Hell yeah. That is, that is a, a section of the game. Um. We briefly looked at the Lake of Rot earlier. Um. I don't think I have enough for a level, but maybe with... Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, beautiful eye. Like, within 200 runes. Super underleveled, oh no. Yeah, if there's one place I don't want to be underleveled, it's the Lake of Rot. That sounds like a bad time. So some of these, uh... Tears turn into particularly scary big things, so I think I can just ignore it. Yeah, you turn into a troll. I thing is, I don't care. <laughs> I think this is all I need. This is like the Finger Slayer Blade or something like that. Yeah. And and then we need to do the carrion uh whatever it's called. I don't remember where this takes me. Yeah, you can like make Lake of Rot not that bad um if you're pretty determined to do so, but it's pretty nasty. Getting back into streaming again. It's uh yeah, it's it's like a very strange thing to do. The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. Um but yeah, it's it's fun. I have fun streaming uh, when, when it goes well. Um, okay, so I did that. I guess we could just go and talk to Ronnie next and we'll see what she has to say. My channel seems to be growing much faster on YouTube than on Twitch, uh, which is not really a surprise. I've been posting more stuff on YouTube than I've been streaming on Twitch as well. Um... But yeah, I think I just... I'm gonna pass like 75 subscribers soon, which is pretty wild on YouTube. Um, considering I'm at 35 followers on Twitch. Um, oh, that stuff just phased through the elevator. My goodness. Alright, Ronnie, let's see. What have you got to say? Is she just... I don't know, she, she is alive. Even in my slum, it is in thy possession. My thumb. Yes. Soon must I begin my journey. She wants to go and murder some fingers. Thank my you. Son, a strange gift. I am certain now. I must thank Torrent. You may leave. It was but brief. Okay, now we gotta go to the. Are you gonna say anything else? What is it? I too. Oh yeah, I love the blood stain too. If you um, if you do the wrong things. If you follow Celavis's quest line, Ronnie just straight up kills you. Like she just like snaps her fingers and you fucking die, which is kind of awesome. I didn't. I genuinely I thought it was like, um, I thought it was like edited footage the first time I saw it. But no, that shit was real. Um, yeah. At, when there's nobody to talk to in chat, it can be a kind of dismal. Streaming. It's definitely true. Um, yeah, the carrion tower thing. I want to go over here. Um, but when there's lots of people to talk to in chat and stuff to stuff going on, you're having a good time. This is real fun. But it's like the only way to get people into chat is to like be having fun on your own already, which is it's like hard to just make that happen, you know? Um, but some of it comes down to like the game that you're playing. <clears throat> and and stuff. I also found that like if I'm just not in the mood to stream, I just shouldn't be streaming because like it is just people cl like click off the whole thing. It's like a viewer retention game, right? If you think about it, when people click on the stream, you want them to stay. Yeah. Um. And you kind of have to just get like it, get good at talking to yourself about nothing too, which is um. Something that I'm working on too. I, I like I always think of stuff that I want to talk about and then um 
like I actually press go live and it just it's all gone from my head yeah just think out loud that's kind of what I do when I, I play games a lot of the time especially if I'm doing some like hectic TF2 something this is not what I remembered this cutscene looking like there's like RGB split effects wild This is a super cool thing, though. Literally, the tower upside downs itself. Just formulating a plan in Souls, yeah. Not a bad idea. Um, or just like talking out loud about the boss. It helps me, um, if I like count for uh, dodging stuff. That can definitely help. There's a particularly nasty NPC in here. Um, one time I actually tried to fight him with the weapon that he shoots at you. Oh, I got stuck on a bit of stone. God damn. Yeah, I fired that spell at him a whole bunch too. It's really hard to beat him at his own game though, I will, I will say. He's kind of a dickhead, the Perceptor. And once you hit him enough, he teleports away, of course. I feel like there's an item over here. No, just hands. Just hands. Oh, there was an item over there and I just didn't pick it up. I, I think it's just a hat though. But of course, what is the most important thing to pick up in Souls? Um, you ran past this guy? I, yeah. The most important thing is to pick, to pick up is the hats is what I was gonna say, but I, I can't blame you for running past him. Miriam sucks. <laughs> Um, the bleed weapon is nice. There we go. Usually he's actually, he teleports away a second time actually, and then you have to fight him close quarters again. Um, but do I drop down again here? I think so. Yeah, this whole, whole zone is in interesting place. I think you're actually supposed to drop down onto that. Please? Oh, I thought I was just going to slide off. I swear, they literally... Uh, okay, this is... I know this is objectively not true, but in my head it's true. I feel like they um, programmed in um, like a 10 to 50% chance. It was pretty close, right? Like, just a random chance that you just slide off stuff when you're doing these platforming sections. Um. Oh, and there's another godskin guy, isn't here? Isn't there here? Oh, yeah. D did you just keep dying in the Lake of Rot? It is pretty funny when you just, like, slide right off. Um, I've seen it happen to, like, speedrunners and stuff, and that's... Yeah. Yeah, this this Godskin guy you can definitely just run past. But I think I want to put a uh, pizza cutter to meatball. Putting off homework. Hey man, I spent years doing that. I spent years putting off homework. It is... And you know what I found out? Like, most of it doesn't matter. Most of the dumb shit the teachers ask you to do are completely pointless and are wasting your time. But, I will say, do actually try to learn the concepts from your courses. It's it's good for your brain. It's good for... Why did I get on the horse? There's a grace right there. Um, but also, like... Yeah, and, and you just have no choice but to just eat shit and do it in, in the schooling system, and that's annoying, right? But eventually it does end, right? Um, it hurts the smooth brain. Yeah, I hear you. Um... But, like, if truly all we spent time doing was playing shit like this, we we would all be complete fucking idiots, so... It does help. Oh, that has more range than I thought it did. Oh, your belly bump missed me. Sip. Okay. Bonk? 
Yeah, you have a lot of health, guy. Shit. Oh, don't roll. Never roll. Uh... Okay, I was gonna say, when does he stop? <laughs> That's the neat part. He doesn't. Okay, we're fine. Ah! No. Oh, I like, literally like rolled under him. That is not what you want to be doing there. Oh, that stomach bump is quite a move. Yeah, patience is a big thing for success in Souls games. I don't know how none of that hit me. Patience is huge. That's, I will say. As I, like, greedily defeat the boss. Which way did I come from? Must have been that way. Um, but confidence, confidence and patience both matter, actually, I will say. Um, but you got to do other stuff too. Like I, I, I recently tried to do a little bit of math in my head, and I realized how long it had been since I had tried to do that the last time, and it was a while. And I was like, yeah, I'm bad at this now. I, I used to, I took math up until like differential equations. I was thinking about pa taking partial differential equations actually, but the just the first class was hard enough for me. Um, so like I, I was once good at math. Confidence is one of those weird things. It's like you kind of just force it. Uh, I, I, it's the advice that everybody says online, right? But you just you kind of just fake it and then eventually it's there. Um, also, like having something that you are are good enough in that it's easy to be confident in your ability helps too. You know. But yeah. My, my advice for school is like do do the amount of work that you can that um, you both like pass your classes and it doesn't completely demolish your mental health. <laughs> you have to find like a a some toe the line in some way to do that. It's it's quite hard, but um, let's see. What was I doing? I have to go back and talk to Ronnie again, right? And then... There's gonna be a doll there or something? Let me see if I remember that right. Yeah, it's... The, the, the thing about the education system that's particularly frustrating is that it really is just designed for, like, a specific type of person. And if you're not that type of person, you're just going to have a shitty time. And, like, there's kind of no no undoing that. Like, there's nothing you or I can do that will make that better. And, and that's unfortunate. Um, but... Yeah, like I said, eventually it will just be over. <laughs> but, like, I don't know how for how long that is for you. Um, college did feel pretty pointless as well, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, you know, here we are. I, I do wonder, like, um, how different life would be if I just didn't go to college and just, like... I don't know. Did something else with that time instead, but here we are. I already fought the dragon here, so we'll, we'll get to see the second half of the Ajula fight um, once we get a little further into Ronnie's quest line. There's a couple more steps we need to do first, but... Um, yeah, after I do Ronnie's questline, I guess I could just keep going with the main game into Mountaintops 
fight fire giant. Um, I guess I could go into the sewers, try to fight Moog or something too. I, I guess I also am at the point where I could try to go to the Halig tree and fight Melania. But that's like very scary. I don't want to fight Melania on stream. That's going to be nasty. Every time I've fought that boss, it has taken me like hours worth of attempts. So there are other bosses that I've had like a better time on subsequent playthroughs. Like Sister Freed, I had such a nasty time with my first playthrough, but it, it was like not that bad. The next couple times I played it. Melania's always evil. This is another really strange thing in this game. So you get to this point. If you can make it to this point in the quest line, already you've done some weird obscure shit. But you have to talk to the miniature doll three times in a row. A and then she calls you a dogged fellow. Or is it merely fine? I hadn't expected any soul to recognize but now the perform right, blah blah blah. The name of Ra I won. Perform eliminate the name of Ra I won. Okay. Now we just go further through the area. So the reason that we did Ainsel River earlier, uh, we did like sort of this half of it, was because we, we came back now. And you, we can go and kill the big beast in this room and collect all this stuff. And yeah, let's... Uh, right, I, I keep trying to take Torrent out. He just doesn't work here. <laughs> we just have to kind of run around now. There's another big gravity thing. And they're... They're kind of just, like, underdeveloped Estelles, right? I guess. Really, no? Okay. Run. Hey, I wonder if I can just... Pizza cut its face. Seems like a bad idea. I must try it again. Let's give you a big bonk first. Ow. God, those pincers are scary looking. Okay, fine. I'll kill you the normal way. If I must. And that's, yeah, one of the other ways to get a Somber 7. You can either go, like, deep into Volcano Manor and do all that. Um, or you can do all of Ronnie's questline, essentially. Like, most of it. To get here. You have to do some really nasty stuff. I mean, at a minimum, like, fight Radon and... Go through Nokron and then... The Carrion Inverted Tower thing. Which I kind of made quick work of, but that can be much worse. <laughs> that can be a much nastier time. I don't know why I feel the need to go and pick up all these items. I know it's there's nothing like groundbreaking over here. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of satisfying to do it, to be honest. So, so, so do it, I shall. Um... Yeah, I guess finish this, and then we, we have lots of endgame stuff to do from here. Um, I guess we can go and do the rest of the Volcano Manor stuff um, up in mountaintops. Oh, right. Of course, I can't open the map. I just meant to press triangle, and I pressed square instead. I am very good with a controller. Yeah, those ants give you way more souls than the other ones do. I feel like there's another room, big room with a queen ant in it. Uh, kind of like the one we went in before. Oh yeah, and there's this guy with the giant head. Kind of scary with both of them here at once, actually. Okay. 
I don't know how I didn't get hit by whatever that thing was. You float in the air for longer than should be possible. For how big of a thing you are. Alright. I know you can get that giant ant face as a skull as well, the like crusher ant head. I don't know where though. Or it's a shield, a giant shield that you can carry. Yeah. I think this is nothing. Yeah, there's just a guy. I wish I had a kick. Oh no, this is... Right, 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 right. This is this again, okay. Yeah, so as I said earlier, I need to come back here. I don't remember what's in this chest, but let's see. Oh right, it's the wing of Estelle. How could I forget? I think that's actually a pretty decent weapon. <laughs> Those stones were a little scary. Um. Yeah, and grab this. And then we'll go bonk the big thing again. Do a bit of bug bonking. I mean, what are these creatures if not really large bugs? I think this is safe. Oh, that's too close for my liking, but barely safe. I just missed. God, look away. Good lord. Okay, large bug taken care of. Is there another chest back here? I always feel like there should be, but there isn't. Um, now I think I do have to teleport back up here if I want to go through all of this again. Which maybe, maybe I did that in not the best way. But I can... This is too high to drop from, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a little ledge over here for you to drop off on. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Let's loot this area and then we can teleport back over there and do some more stuff. Nine views on the one of the VODs, the other has seven. Nice. Yeah, I... I never really, like... No. <laughs> like, why some of the VODs have more views than others. So I, this kind of maxed out at, like, 20 or so for me. And, um, some of them just straight up get zero. <laughs> which is a little weird. But, um... I've been putting the VODs uh, for my stream up on uh, YouTube as well, where they get uh, pretty much zero views, too. It's just kind of there to be there, I guess. Eventually, it's like having the infrastructure set up, you know? But that guy, Pirate Software, who's been blowing up on YouTube Shorts, talks about that, where, like, when interest comes to your channel, you want to have content for that interest to be satiated. That way, they, they don't, like, the interest doesn't, like burn away like oil in a hot pan or, or water in a hot pan what am i saying you have to go back through this room yeah i didn't realize that the twitch files just get deleted eventually i thought you could mark them to get saved i i think the way to the only way to do that is with a highlight um the highlights get saved permanently, but for, you can't mark VODs to get saved for some reason. It's probably just like the server space is too expensive for them or something. Are there other items up here to get before I go up there? I think so. I've got a whole lot of love wart with this stream. I've been spending a lot of time underground, so it's not a surprise. I think we uh, will just go back over here. And we can visit um, the rest of this area. I'm trying to think what else is here. 
Um, There's a bunch of those big sphere enemies around. Um, yeah, and I could go to the sewers, but if I wanted to just get lost forever, uh, I would... I don't know. Uh, just being lost for like a couple hours on stream doesn't seem like the best kind of time for me. I've navigated those sewers uh, off stream. No need to do it on stream. I don't know how none of those guys noticed me. I do have to do all this again though, right? I think I want to go, I want to follow the water this time. That seems like the move. I can kind of just ignore these ants, right? Yeah. Glove wart. May as well get it. I got the Mimic tier, so I could just upgrade it a whole bunch and just have a very powerful summon, but um, I don't really feel the need to at this time. Yeah, they kind of make it so that you have to run through that area twice, because if you come this way first, then it's a path of no return. There's like a drop-off. You can't go back up. Um... Yeah, let's go up first. There's stuff to do down here as well. I want to go up first. I feel like this is an item. Come on, walk into it. <laughs> there we go. Is it this? Yeah, they, they kind of blend in with the regular just stuff around. Oh, it's the ant skull. Hell yeah. What a cool thing. This is one of those items. Like I said, press the jump button without touching the stick, and then push the stick afterwards. That is the way to do that. These guys all, like, kill each other with a chain reaction, if you can do it right. Ah, I barely screwed it up, so it didn't keep going. In here, I think there's a whole bunch of enemies too, but we can just run by. <laughs> no sweat. And it's a bell bearing, sure. This is nothing. Precious item ahead. How much you want to bet it's nothing? Or like a butterfly. Oh no, there is actually an item. Wow. I'm amazed. It's the little archer goblins. God, this looks so cool though. That's where we fought that boss before. Um, the dragonkin soldier. We get to see the arena from up here. It's, a, it's so much cool shit like that in these games. I feel like Dark Souls 1 is really the best for it, but um, these other ones are really good too. I forgot this was here. It's another 7. Look at that. So there's a couple 7s in this area. I, I definitely remembered that, but I always feel like it's easier to go to Volcano Manor first. <laughs> Big ball up there on the stairs. You see him start rolling towards us. I feel like I have so many stone sword keys, there's really no reason not to use it. Here comes that ball. Oh, I got like... my lock on fell off. Oh. Oh no. I ran out of... Blue juice. Blue juice is actually the trumpet of valve oil that I used to use when I uh, played trumpet in college. It's pretty funny. I haven't thought about that in a long time. 
Um, but it is also the Flask of Cerulean Tears, I guess. Where is that ball? It's going home! Does it have a patrol path? That would be really funny if so. Okay, ball. Are you just gonna chill up there now? Nope, here he comes. I feel like this room has a whole bunch of shit in it. Oh, hello. I wonder if that ball's gonna fall down. Surely nothing will happen, right? Oh no, there's a ball that fell down. Get the item. There we go. As soon as it hits the surface, you're good. I wonder, can I pizza cut you? Oh god, it does so much damage if it hits you too. Okay, that is not an effective way of fighting those things. Good to know. I hear the other one on the other side of this wall. Is there another item around this corner? Precious nothings ahead? No item ahead? Turn back. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Let's see. There you are. My large spherical friend. Come on. I, why do I feel like I can just block it between these two things? Yep. Come get me. <laughs> right, one more. There we go. See you later, ball. Yeah, and for each one of those you kill, you actually get to respect your character, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that they did that. Let's see. Um, I feel like this is nothing. Yeah, there's nothing else over here. It's pretty easy to... Oh, excuse me. To miss some stuff in this zone if you're not careful but I hit these they'll all chain reaction I think Lightning explode when you die? No. Surely some of them will. There we go. There we go. Shit. Okay, get the item. Run away. Suck. It's funny that they can get crushed by the ball. Nice. Oh, here comes the ball. attack it just works sometimes <laughs> where is the there why do I feel like you explode when you die no okay I feel like there's a path down here that I always miss, like in the side of this room. Yeah, it's over there. Shit. Started this off poorly. You and your Zwei-hander. Listen. Oh, God. Oh, 
that was way too close. Holy shit. Okay. This is... This encounter is... No joke. My god. I don't think they have flasks. Okay, that's one down. Okay, there we go. Just you. is really bad. The, like, one that you get after you roll. There we go. I've got their, like, entire outfit now. I can rock the, the Nox drip if I want. God, I, I hate saying those words out loud. It, like, doesn't feel right coming out of my mouth. I'm, like, too lame to be saying that word. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I always forget, like, this path is even here. I, I was, like, running around searching for this the last time I, pl I played through the game. Like, where? how do I get down there? I know there's a way. Um. I'm nearing uh, max flasks. I don't know how many more gold seeds I need. But it can't be many. Yeah, I don't think I really feel the need to go back through all of this lower area and kill all these ants and stuff. Um, I think there's an item over here that's worth getting. Maybe not. Is it just the blue? There's an item. It's just a celestial do. Okay. Love what? That looks like a good one, too. Eight? Yeah, that's, that's pretty high level. Okay, down the elevator we go. We gotta fight Blythe. And then, um... I think it's Lake of Rot time. Which is uh, gonna be a little scary. Do I even have... Hang on a second. I don't even know if I have a seal. Um... To equip... Spells. I literally don't. I'll have to go buy one from the, um... <laughs> from the... Whatever you call it. Why can't I think of the round table hold? There we go. Let us speak of the past a while. I was once an Imperium. Of the demigods. Only I, Nicola, and Melania could claim that title. Each of us was chosen by our own two fingers as a candidate to succeed Queen Marika. It's pretty cool. What I, I sure. I blah, blah, blah. The two and the bale. Okay. She has more to say. I don't know if any of that matters. It's just lore. Ronnie is kind of a badass. Only going to need one more level and then I can just wield flame cleanse me. Or use it, whatever, not wield, you know. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, that's a glove ward 9. I found at least um, 8, 9, and 10 this stream. Where am I? <laughs> Where am I going? Right, through the, through the door and the cave. Yeah, that guy's got the the big um like jaw weapon. That thing's cool. Shit, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get death blighted if I'm not careful. Let's just run past these guys. Like I just I can't be bothered. Oh Hel shadow. Hello Blythe. Thou art the last. I feel like the last time. I fought this guy, I killed him before the, um, the voice lines ended. Okay, 
Okay, he has a lot more health than I remember him having. What? There we go. I wouldn't say that's beautifully fought, but, um, sure. Yeah, she always says that. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned, even if you, like, own him. Right, and I think I can go and, um, I have to go to Renala's room to use that key, and I actually have to do that before we can... Either It's either the thing before Estelle or the thing after Estelle we need that for. I think it's the thing after Estelle. But yeah, here we are. The Lake of Rot. The Lake of Nasty Stinky Rot. So, I think what I need to do... Probably use this. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I have 22,000. That should be enough for one more level. Yep. And then we'll just get our 12 faith. Very nice. And then we go back to round table. Oh, yeah, none of the guys have left because I just never talked to him. Oh, that is fine. Hello, Nefeli. She has some, like, quest line that you can do as well, but that's fine. I don't need to be involved in any of that. Let's, um... Can you use Bloodhound Step to zoom through the rot? I kind of wonder. Um, it is pretty funny that we're this late in the game and I still can't wield my weapon normally. Um, I kind of feel like I, I don't ever want to be able to wield it normally. I, I want to... Um, <laughs> I, I want to have to two-hand it. I don't know. <laughs> it's stupid, but... Oh, right, and I have to equip the spell, too, dumbass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I have to do that at the grace. Memorize spell. The only spell that I will ever need is Flame Cleanse Me. Okay, where's the map? It's right there. I don't think I ever have fought the, um, the Dragonkin soldier that's down here. So maybe I'll do that today. So yeah, every time you get to one of these things, you can kind of just cleanse yourself. Um, yeah, I, I actually cleared, like, this entire area for items my first time through, which is kind of pointless, to be honest. Because most of it's not very good. But you, you gotta know, right? Like, what if, what if it's really good? It was a good jump that I got there at the start. Very nice. You can sit at each of these and wait for the rot to clear if you really feel like it, but yeah, this rot is really nasty too. It, it kills you very fast compared to other rots in the game. Think it's gonna get me again? Yep. So yeah, I think if I go touch this, it should open up more places to fight that guy. Let's see. Oh no, that's this. I wonder if there's a way to like run, touch the button, and then go and stand where that thing comes up. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, there is the guy though. Dragonkin. Yeah, I think what I want to do is use Flame Cleanse Me one more time. 
drink one of each sippy. And then run off this way. It's always kind of a gamble to see how far you can get. So if you don't give yourself enough time to get rid of the rod, you're just kind of screwed. Oh, right. This is this. I always forget. I think there's an Onyx Lord somewhere here. But they're poisonous. We might be maidenless, but at least we're not poisonous. And I think this is a somber nine, right? What? Okay, he has some poise. <laughs> I thought I would just be able to meat grind him. Or pizza cut him, whatever. <laughs> yeah, somber nine. Very nice. Um, and I think there's an item over in that temple over there that we can go and get. And we can fight the guy. The dragonkin soldier, but I'm gonna wanna... Um, go touch the grace first, over here. Is there a ladder here somewhere? Yeah. Very nice. I wonder. No, that's going to take too long. I don't care. <laughs> I simply don't care. Totally fine. It's gonna be a little close, though. God, that does just... it damages you so fast. Shit is crazy. Trying to do this without the spell is just so nasty, because, like, you're... Um... If you're trying to use consumable items to cleanse the rot, then you're just gonna have a bad time, because you need so many of them. I think there's like a a rotted tree thing down there too. Oh, and yeah, there's some more of these kindred of rot enemies which are really nasty too. Okay, I guess I'll rest and then we can go and try to do some more stuff at the lake. Um Yeah, and then we can we can go on to a Stell's boss fight. Which is probably the sickest looking boss in any of these games. I actually really like the way it looks, with just a bit of red at the end of my cape. Um These games have always done cape physics uh in a way that is very cool as well, I gotta say. I think I tried to fight the Dragonkin soldier here once, and it was just I was just dying of rot. And I was like, you know what? This sucks. Why am I doing this? But I feel like I, I have the skills and the tools now to be able to do it. What does that get me? Number 22, huh? Those are key items? Rot grease. Okay, sure. Now I, too, can wield the rot. Not actually, though, because the pizza cutter doesn't let you grease it. Which, I feel like that's wrong. Like, yes, I get that it's a somber weapon and none of the somber weapons let you grease them. But come on, I want to grease my pizza cutter. It's... Thematic, I don't know. I'm just saying words. This is going to be kind of a long bit of running. Mm. Did that in the wrong order. I guess go over this way. Shit, I should have drank this before I went. I'm going to end up using a lot of my heals before I even get to the mini-boss. But, I mean, such is... 
how it goes. I think I want to get to that other pillar over there. And that will, like, raise up um, an arena for me to fight. I think. So let's try it. It, like, didn't work. I pressed the button, it did nothing. Just gonna kind of have to eat some of the damage this time. And by some of it, I mean, like, a lot. Ugh. Okay, yeah, that's actually, like, doable now. I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little low on, um, cures here. Fight me. You actually have much more health than the other version of you that we fought today. What? How did that miss? You don't seem to do that much more damage, though. No, I'm in the rot! Uh oh, this is bad. Oh! You got me. <laughs> um, that is... That is fine. I don't know if I have to... Um, activate those pillars again. I don't, I don't think I do. Right, at least it spawns me right here. I didn't see the Stake of America. Oh, wow. It's really... It's well hidden, isn't it? Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> kind of hard to stay out of the rot entirely. Shit. Oh wow. Not only did I not get the cleanse off. Oh cool, it Inflicts Rot, too. That's good. I was just thinking, what if the boss doesn't inflict Rot? That would be awful. I might actually, like, have a good time. Why am I doing, like, no damage? Am I hitting your armor? Oh my god, just... Drink and get hit. That's all I'm doing. Literally it. Seriously, why am I doing no damage? Oh my god, because my, I was one-handing the weapon. That move just never hits. Okay, well. If I die this time, it'll be pretty deserved. I'm sure you can, I just mean, does it do extra damage? I thought I staggered it. I thought I heard the stagger sound. I guess not. Oh, whenever... Whenever there's rocks sticking out of the ground like that, when an enemy swings, that means they're gonna... pull the weapon out and it's gonna do more... damage. I, I get, like, stuck on his hitbox, but I somehow don't hit it. Never understood that one. Oh, I die? Yep. Okay. <laughs> right, let's give that another try while actually two-handing the weapon this time. I, I even, I went on that whole diatribe about how 
You know what? I don't want to be able to wield my weapon. Who's a dumbass? It's me. Alright, well at least the twigs look like I can get them from on the safe spot. Which you. Let's give you a bonk. Just do a cleanse real quick. See, no rocks that time, so I knew I was at least somewhat safe. Oh, I got knocked out of the air. What am I doing? I'm hitting nothing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is, is this, like, hard? Because I can't go behind the boss like you normally would because that's just rot over there. Oh, maybe I can get behind the boss? Well... That did me a whole lot of good. Come back over here. Come on. Oh, I rolled really early. Okay, getting close. Uh-oh. Just don't screw it up territory. Oh, yeah. Okay, we got this. Thank you, Dragonkin Soldier. I didn't even get the repost. Thank you, Dragonkin Soldier. That was a little tougher than I thought it would be, to be honest. I got a nice chunk of souls for it, though. And a weapon that I didn't even know existed. What is this? Dragon Scale Blade. That's kind of cool. What is this scale with? Strength and dex, mostly a dex weapon, looks like. Cool. Okay, well. Uh, I guess I should get the items from here, and then I can just teleport back to that grace. It would be funny if you couldn't teleport when you had rot on. That would be... If I were Miyazaki and I wanted to be evil, that's what I would do. Um... Let's see, yeah, we want to go to the Grand Cloister, which is a weird word. I don't know why they use that word for that, but they did. <laughs> they sure did. Um, oh, I really should have leveled up, huh? Like, really should have. I don't think there's a grace before we... um. I think there's just boss fight, so let's uh, go level quickly. I don't think I have enough for two levels. I definitely don't, actually, because I was I needed like 37,000 not that long ago. Uh, let's see. An endurance? Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's get our strength and dexterity on even footing. Oh, wait, what? I can actually just wield it with one hand now. Shit! Okay, well, look at that. <laughs> I meet the requirements. Um, how do you get over there? That's not what I meant to do at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a, a, a bit poorly thought out. Um, I think I just dropped down <laughs> the gap. I was not thinking. Okay, off we go. There's some significance that these golden centipedes have to the lore. Oh, I just completely missed that item. These enemies are also very big in the camp. I've literally just fucking hit them. 
think they stagger pretty easy. So if you just hit them, works pretty well. Oh, they've seen me. At least that doesn't do that much damage anymore. There's like I, an item up there in that big thing, but I, I don't think it's worth it. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna get in the coffin. Doesn't this seem like such a friendly coffin to get in? Nothing bad could happen. Nothing bad will happen. The pot makes my character look so stupid. I love it. <laughs> it kind of implies that, like, your character is moving that heavy-ass stone thing back into place. And then exactly what you think might happen happens. And off we go. <laughs> It should just cut to black and just you die. It deletes your save file. Sadly, no. It's just this weird, pretty area. I forgot there's a, like a cutscene for you getting out of the coffins, too. I guess we could go fight the double gargoyle things, too. That's that's another thing that I, I could potentially do today. Um, I guess I should try to do Lich Dragon Fortisax before that becomes impossible to do as well. I have to remember what I need to do to make that happen. There's a cool dragon that you can miss out on fighting if you just do stuff wrong. In the wrong order. Classic NPC questline bullshit. Right, let's let's fight one of the coolest bosses in the game. You do your tail whip. It's the nerd rope. Okay, that was several unnecessary rolls. Let's see how good our damage is. A lot of these moves are multi-hits. Oh, I didn't get control back for a while there. That was weird. Damn it. Oh, wow, I actually dodged the multi-hit. Amazing. Oh god, run away. Oh, I thought I could escape. I could not. I didn't know that was a two-part move. Just fucking do it again! go. Oh, it's the grab! Oh, that's actually quite scary. Where? Again, where? Okay. Nice. Bonk his face. Damn it. You doing phase two now? That feels like it. Are we getting meteors from the sky? Yep. Shit. Unlucky. I see, I'm used to that just being a one part move like that. that's four. I was going to say one of them is four, one of them is three. That is the one that is four. Okay, it's getting a little, a little close. I'm using a whole lot of my flasks here. Damn it. It's 
still. Shit. Did that hit me? Okay. Damn it. That's pretty good for attempt number one, I guess. It's been a while since I fought this boss, so I'm slightly rusty. Been going for about two hours. I have a decent amount more I feel like I can do today. Um, let's not get hit by the first thing this time. There we go. Them. I had 20,000. That's like not a small amount. They're all the way over here. Just don't do your big laser thing. And we'll be fine. That's the big laser thing. That's rude. I asked you not to, Estelle. <laughs> Come on. You gonna do the grab now? No. Dodge the first two or the third one hits you. I swear. That was the two-part move. I never know the timing for that. It's weird. still hit me? I thought I was close enough that I would be able to dodge it to the side. Oh, nice. I was going to get the stagger. Let's try this. That's terrible. I would never advocate for doing that. Please, just one more hit. Okay. Well, that's Estelle. <laughs> Legend Legendfeld. Nice. Oh, and I never did the thing with the ring. Um, we have to go and get a ring from Ronala's room before we can um, go any further on this path. Uh, let's see. Um, two levels. Let's just do one strength and one dex. Why not? Does my weapon still scale equally with both? It does. Okay, let's... Um, Just really quickly go and grab this thing out of this chest. So I I and I, I imagine almost every other person playing this game really wanted to know how to get to this part of the map. Because you you just like can't get here. You can go underneath it. You can't get there. The only way to do it is to kill Estelle. And have Ronnie's key from her quest line and come and get this. Like this is this is just the way to get there. Which is weird. I don't know why I rested again, like I need to do that to travel like it's fucking Dark Souls 1 or something. Um, I guess all the Dark Souls games you need to do that. But yeah, we, we got that ring and it's just a key item. You don't have to wear it or anything. I have another talisman slot, huh? You know, I think I want to get the um, stamina recovery talisman. Um, but oh, I can do that later. <laughs> I don't have to do that right now. Um, there's actually a few really good talismans that you can get soon in the game. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm having so much fun playing this game again. It's just awesome. It's just incredible. I just like genuinely, I, I want people to make more stuff like this. Um, I was really happy with Liza P. Genuinely, after like the saltiness wore off from 
me being aggravated that I did the dumb thing and missed the final boss. Um, oh, that guy's got a big sword. That's the, like the long katana, huh? You have to do some weird NPC cutscene shenanigans to get that katana, I remember. Um, and this is this is the rematch with Ajula, the glintstone dragon. I think this dragon has some unique moves that other dragons don't get. Uh, maybe I spoke a bit soon, but I'm pretty sure it's going to spawn, like, right now. Yeah, there we go. I would like to bonk you in the head. It's gonna explode. Oh god, that does a lot of damage. Oh, what? Oh, Torrent took the brunt of that, huh? Thank you, Torrent. I appreciate you, bud. Fire residue looks really cool on the ground. I guess I never fought the other Glintstone Dragon, did I? The one that's got the key? The Rylocaria Academy key or whatever. I love the way the dragons can take down trees. I think that's simply brutal. It is kind of weird the way that they teleport back when you get far enough away, but I mean, I understand technological limitations. Okay, don't be overly greedy about that thing. It's really nasty. Yeah. Fire. Okay. It's a bit close again. You keep flying so far away, and then you're just going to teleport back. Took a whole bunch of damage again. Thank you, bud. Okay, it's mildly hard to see what was happening there. Whoa, the flame particles didn't really look like they came from the right place there. That time. No, oh, and you're gone again. I could tell the music was fading out. Oh, this is the unique, cool ass thing. Giant dragon sword. Ow. Ow. I wondered if this dragon did that move. Seems like they all have that jump and slam move. Ow. I think Torrent died. Yep. Here goes my second to last flask. Just kill the dragon the lame way now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. It is done. God, you get a lot of runes for that. Yeah, see, the, the, like, rune balance of how much you get based on the strength of the thing that you killed is, like, kind of all over the place. There are some really tough fights that you can do that don't give you anywhere near 120,000 runes. So that shit's crazy. I just, I genuinely... It's, it's like, I think they really want you to do this, <laughs> in general. This is like a... 
a quest line that they want you to do <laughs> when you play the game, which makes sense. I mean, so much of the content, main game content, is like it wrapped up in this quest line. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a, a good few levels here. Um, just two, huh? 25 and 25 ain't bad. Um, I actually get so many Starlight Shards in this room that I filled up my inventory with them. The bloodstains here are funny because if you just like miss one of the platforms, you can <laughs> you can just die. Uh, just pretty goofy. Um, yeah, but we get to see what Ronnie wanted the Finger Slayer blade for. God, it makes you wonder: <laughs> Am I responsible? Did I let this happen? <laughs> am I complicit? She killed her fingers. The stuff that goes on in this game just would make no goddamn sense if you didn't know what's going on. I'm putting a ring on a doll. <laughs> Just hear my computer going the fan <laughs> like turned on when Ronnie's hair starts getting generated. I god damn it, grapefruit. I will never not notice that when the camera angle changes, all the cloth physics resets. I've I've noticed it in all of these games now, and it pisses me off because I didn't want I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to notice that. So it was thee who would become my lord. She follows you with her head. How have I not ever noticed that? She's like a fan. She's like, would you stop walking around and so I can look at you? You, oh, you idiot. Okay, Ronnie. I guess we'll do Ronnie's ending. There's kind of no reason not to. They do a really good job funneling you into and out of that room effectively, as well. Let's see, what else do I want to do up on this zone? So there's like the rise, you have to find three giant tortoises to do that, which is like a huge pain. And there's also this... I could go fight Black Knife Tish. Um, which I guess... I guess we can do. A pretty nasty ever jail boss over here. How many souls do I need to level up? 46. Oh my god, I'm 1,000 souls away. I should just pop some some runes and grab one more level while oh, we're right by a grace. So uh, I need 46,841. Um, I feel like that's enough. Oh no, it won't be. Oh, no, just barely. Okay, nice. And I think we'll do endurance. This well, we could do mind. Yeah, why not? I haven't put any levels into mind. I could definitely use a bit more mind. And off we go to fight Tish. And then I get like, fuck! I don't even know what to do next. I guess we could just go to mountaintops. Um. Because I am not going to go to the sewers. It's like the one other thing that there is to do. And I just will get lost, like, forever if I do that, so... Um... At least not this stream for the sewers. I want to say there's a bunch of dragons around here somewhere. Like, right up ahead, right? Oh yeah, I see their wings and stuff. You can fight all those dragons if you want. They don't respawn, but you don't really get a whole lot for doing it, so... Is that, like, the most worthwhile thing? Yeah, one of the one of the giant tortoises that you get for the, the rise here. You see it in giant tortoise in the air when you take that. 
uh, what do you call that thing? I don't know. The thing that shoots torrent in the air. Okay, let's get our ass beat by Tish. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Um, this is the nastiest black knife fight. God, look how little damage I do compared to like the last couple bosses that I've fought. Oh, the grab hit me too, huh? Oh god, I got lucky I didn't just die. Oh yeah, so you don't actually fight Tish. Tish is just the... Oh shit. Tish is the name of the summon that you get. But it's Electo, is this guy. The really nasty black knife. This might take me a while, to be honest. <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah, and, and then I guess we'll just go to the fire giant. I could, uh, well, yeah, we, we could do the rest of the volcano manor stuff in mountaintops. Um, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Is this actually going to work? It did like okay damage. I think it was worth it. For the amount of health I lost. Okay. That's so much damage. Oh my god, my health is draining. Sometimes enemies get, like, knocked by my moves, but they don't take damage, which is weird. It's a very strange thing that happens. Okay, don't run out of stamina. Also, don't just let the boss hit you. Every time I get a riposte, I want it to be bloodborne and to just get a whole bunch of health back. That was a pretty pathetic riposte. As so far as percentage of boss health damage that it did. Okay, really glad I dodged that. I think I would have just died if it hit me. Keep running out of stamina. Fuck. Shit. Okay, that was attempt number two. Honestly, I expected to get owned much faster. <laughs> Some of these enemies I just, I know are hard. Um, so it's just mountaintops and then Faramazula. Obviously there's um, Rikard and all the Volcano Manor stuff, but we're getting close. We are getting close. All right. Should probably be using some kind of buff or something, but that's lame. Yeah, that's like not worth doing for the amount of damage that I take. Literally better to just hit the boss the normal way. Shit, man. <laughs> I feel like I should have just run instead of rolling there. Um, see, that's what I was expecting to happen. When I said I expected to get owned faster, that's that's what I was expecting. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Let's let's keep trying. <laughs> no wonder there's a lot of blood stains around here. This is about how well it would have gone if I tried to fight the Crucible Knight when I should have, instead of way late in the game. OK. 
Okay, that was actually much more effective that time. Huh? Huh? I have no stamina? Oh god. Shit, that move! What do you do? I don't know, it's like waterfowl, man. I guess just run? Because I try rolling and then I still get hit by the aura around it. Or whatever you call it, the blade dance thing. I guess you could kind of think of it as like the real DLC that's coming out soon is kind of like the second DLC. Because they did add the Colosseums. Um, but I don't give a shit about multiplayer stuff in these games. Mostly because it's programmed incredibly poorly. And it's just rife with hackers and random crap. So, like, not the best player experience in general. Okay, I'm gonna be more careful with my stamina this time. Oh, that hit me? Airborne? What was that tracking? Fuck me, man. Seriously, how do you survive that? This is brutal. Thought I rolled that too. Okay. Shit, that just missed. Yeah, I guess the way the tracking for the jump heavies works is it tracks the character when you press the button, so you want to kind of wait until you're almost touching the ground. Shit. Okay, well, that could have killed me. Please. Okay. Damn. I thought it was clever. So... Nice. Less nice. Shit. Fuck you. Do the slam. Nice. That slam is fine. Okay, I'm out of heals. Stamina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Shit, don't- no, not the grab! Please live! Oh my god, I have no health. Oh. That was close. Okay, Electo. <laughs> this is really tough. This is not easy. I could definitely do it, though. I guess I should pick up the, the parts for um, the medallion to go to Halig Tree as well. Um, when I'm done with this. Because I, I was thinking, I think that really is where the first... Um, what do you call it? Like, final upgrade stone is, is in the Halig Tree. It's the first one that you can access. That was... that last hit was a very bad idea. Okay. I'm just operating on zero stamina. 
Not exactly my idea of a good time. What the fuck? Seriously, how? I, I thought this time I'll go underneath it. No. That move is nasty. Maybe it's literally just like throw a throwing knife and knock him out of the air or something. I say him, but I'm pretty sure all the black knife uh, assassins are female. I don't know. I have no kind of lore master. Let's try that again. Okay, I didn't manage to knock her out of the move that time. That what was that? That was weird. I didn't like it. Okay, regen some stamina. Okay. Oh, I was going to say charge a heavy and then I just didn't charge it. Fuck me. That literally, if, if like a single particle of the hitbox hits you, I'm hitting a wall. If a single particle of that hitbox hits you, you take the full damage. That's fucking horrible. I'm just going to heal after this for costs. Or not. This fuck. Mash. Heal. No. I shouldn't have rolled. I don't like that attack. I don't. I don't like the way it's programmed. Am I salty? Maybe. But... I feel like getting hit by the full force of the attack and like rolling correctly and then still getting hit after it and taking the same amount of damage, that feels off to me. I don't know. Where am I? Oh, I'm over there. It's just 127 words. Literally couldn't care less. All right, Electo. I really want to get like an actual bleed proc off one of these times. It did 3,000 that time, which is more than it had. Block me, I block you. Okay. That's not really what I wanted to do, but it's fine. I think that's actually more damage than just actually landing the repost. <laughs> just keep dodging, Electo. Just keep dodging. The boss should be able to fall off. That would be awesome. Thought the boss was gonna come in. Come on, would you attack? I feel like the music is gonna end. I've been fighting this thing for so long. Okay, that was kind of cheesy at the end, but I'll take it. That is a tough fight. 
Can I get my runes? No. Oh, let me think about what I want to do next. That's like all I ever really end up doing when I come here. Is, um... The Electo fight and the dragon and grab the... I did get the Dark Moon Greatsword, right? Did I just leave it sitting there? Did I literally just leave it? Okay, that's funny. That's like objectively quite funny. Hang on. <laughs> well, I, I can get it off stream. I don't have to worry about doing that on stream. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've been doing this for two hours and 40 minutes. I should probably eat some food, do some other things in my life. I feel like I achieved a lot in the game. We didn't even do like any main game stuff, but we did a whole bunch of side game stuff. So yeah, it looks like next stream, maybe we'll, we'll take the rolled route, we'll go and do mountaintop stuff. Um, but that's going to be all for this stream. Uh, thank you so much for catching the stream, and I hope you catch the next one. Uh, you take care. Bye-bye.